Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to a video for Pokemon Scholar and Violet. And today, I want to put together a guide on quite possibly the most important system in the entire game. A system that many of you may be sleeping on, despite this system offering so many far-reaching benefits. The system I am of course talking about is making sandwiches. No, this is not a joke video. Making sandwiches in this game is so incredibly important and very useful. It's the key to finding the Pokemon that you want and later on the key to getting shinies as well. So in this video I want to quickly put together a guide on sandwich making and go over some of the most important points. So if you guys do enjoy this and do find this helpful then a like would be super appreciated and of course do be sure to subscribe for more because we have plenty of Pokemon content coming your way. Now, to begin with, sandwiches. You can either go to sandwich shops to purchase pre-made offerings or just to other restaurants and buy other types of foods, or you can go to your menu, select picnic, then once the picnic is up, you can walk up to the table, interact with the basket and begin the process. Once here, you can either select a pre-made recipe, provided you have ingredients, or you can go into free create mode and you can make your own creation. Ingredients can be purchased from a number of stores around the game world, and I'll go over those in more detail shortly. But before that, when you go to craft a sandwich, you'll see a list of meal powers, and these will grant you with different benefits. Super quickly, egg power will make you more likely to find Pokemon eggs. Catching power makes it much more likely for your catches to succeed, so perhaps handy if you are really chasing a particular Pokemon, or you're about to go and face something like a legendary. XP point power, kind of self-explanatory, will give you more XP points. Item drop power means more materials found after battles. Raid power is more rewards from Terra Raid Battles. Title power is more likely to find Pokemon with titles. Sparkling power means more likely to find shiny Pokemon. This one is a big one and I'll go into greater detail on this in a separate video. Humongo power is more likely to find large Pokemon. Teensy power more likely to find small Pokemon. And finally, Encounter power, which is a very useful one, more likely to find certain types of Pokemon. So, when crafting your sandwich, these are what you'll be focusing on. For example, Pikachu is a really rare spawn in the open world. But if you eat a sandwich that gives you encounter power electric, then suddenly the chance of finding electric Pokemon increases. And voila, a Pikachu spawns. And these really do make a massive difference. Try it for yourself if you don't believe me, but if there's a Pokemon you really love and you know where it spawns, but it's just not showing up, try making and consuming a sandwich with that encounter type and your life is about to get a whole lot easier. These meal powers also come in different levels too, and naturally, the higher the level, the more effective or powerful the bonus. As mentioned earlier, you can also craft recipes freely if you want to, but if you want to get more recipes, then you should speak to the guy in the sandwich shops in various different towns as you progress throughout the game, and this will expand your recipe list. Keep in mind, not all towns are massive and not all towns have a huge range of shops, but the bigger ones typically do have lots of options. When it comes to getting ingredients, if you look at your map, you can see there are plenty of different shops to choose from. Again, assuming you are in some of the bigger towns, some of the smaller ones do still have a few shops, but a few noteworthy stores that you want to look out for are Shaw Cans, Deli Kiosso, the Artisan Bakery, and the Acquiesta Supermarket. Between these shops, you should be able to get every ingredient you could possibly need. So be sure to shop around. But that, my friends, is pretty much it. Just a really quick overview of, let's be honest, one of the most important systems in the game that you might be sleeping on. It's not necessarily something you will instinctively always think about doing, but again, if there is something you are particularly chasing, a particular Pokemon for example, and you're having trouble finding it or catching it, then honestly the sandwiches really do make a massive difference. So, don't sleep on this system. But that's pretty much it, quick rundown on that system, hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you've missed some of the recent videos, you can check out one of these ones on the channel. And otherwise, keep it locked for plenty more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet.